Oh, I was just in with one of the postulants recently and it was, I had this funny, <laughs> funny image that I just totally called him out and he received it well. But the way he was speaking and the way he was talking kind of sounded like, um, I told him, I was like, bro, it's like you took a number at the DMV and you're just kind of waiting for your turn with the Lord. It's like, you're in relation with the father, bro, throw that number away. You don't have to like wait in line. It was, it was like, as if I can figure this stuff out, if I can just pray right, if I can get all my interior stuff, get um, all your documents fixed, ready, so yeah, like get, get everything ready. And then you get to the window and it's, something's always wrong. So you have to go back home and get another original copy of something you don't have, <laughs> you know? So I feel like, but that isn't that spiritually where we're at. And that's not how the anointing works. You don't have to wait. You don't have to get in line. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to have it all together. And I feel like guy, guys in particular can, can live in this space that we get discouraged because you're like, man, I'm just in this waiting room. And I, I feel like I'm in this waiting room for a long time, you know, and then they get sad and then, and then we, we get distracted, right? So the gift is to, even when we actually live in the truth of, of being in, in this dynamic living relationship with Jesus, we don't, we don't have to wait. We don't have to be perfect and we don't have to have it all together, but he then comes. And in, in the gift of our baptism and the gift of the sacraments is a continual anointing that we live in this relationship with him. So I just think we need to stand against, renounce, do whatever we do to stand, to, to not play like we're waiting in the line of the deep. Thanks so much for watching the segment from the Poco Poco podcast. If you want to watch a full show, head on right over here. If you want to support the podcast, head on over to spiritjuice.org slash poco poco. Whether it's a one-time gift or a monthly donation, we really appreciate your support. And also, don't forget to tell your friends about the Poco Poco podcast, all right? Little by little.